Are you looking for free geoscience data sets containing vast amounts of well log data and core data in order to practice your machine learning and data science skills? If so, you have come to the right place. Hi guys, if you're new here, I'm Andy, and if you already knew that, then welcome back to the channel. For many years, well logging data sets have remained locked up on company and government servers, and it has only been accessible by those who have the right access privileges. However, in recent years, there's been a trend towards providing open data sets that allows anyone to access this data and then use it for their own purposes. There may be some caveats about what you can do with this data, and it is recommended that you look at the license agreements specifically for that data set. If you've done any kind of online courses for machine learning or data science, you will often be given data sets that have been cleaned and are easy to use with the machine learning algorithms that are taught during the course. However, this does not reflect reality as data is often dirty, and by that I mean that data is missing and also contains erroneous values and a significant amount of time needs to be spent cleaning that data to ensure that it is fit for the intended purpose. And that will be another video that comes on my channel soon which focuses on the data quality of well log data prior to applying machine learning models. So be sure to look out for that. So sometimes it can be challenging to find real world data sets you can use and apply both your domain knowledge as well as the machine learning and data science knowledge. In today's video, I'm going to show you six websites where you can download well logged data for free and use them within your machine learning project or even apply your petrophysical skills and do basic interpretations. Each website contains a vast amount of data that will keep you busy for some time. So let's get started. First up, we probably have one of the best known data sets out there for well logged data, and that is the Equinor data set that was released by Equinor in 2018. They released it to allow research and development as well as provide a case study for people to study the data. The Volve data set contains 40,000 files, and that ranges from well log data to well log reports to seismic data as well as complete geo models. The Volve field is situated about 200 kilometers west of Stavanger in Norway and it began production in 2008 and lasted until 2016. The well related data contains a mixture of well logs, petrophysical reports, and even advanced formation logging tools such as borehole imaging and acoustic waveform data. So it's definitely a data set to check out, and you can find it by clicking the link in the description down below. You do however need to sign up to the Equinor website, but that is a very simple process, and once approved you will have access to that data. The NLog database, or the Netherlands Log Database, is a freely available database that you can access simply by going to this website here. Again, the link is down in the description below. However, one issue with it is that it can be very difficult to search and find the data that you require. So you need to know which well you're looking for and you can then go into that well and find that data. So let's have a closer look at how to use the NLog database. And here we are on the NLog website where we can access the well log data from the Dutch sector of the North Sea. First we go up to the data item in the menu and then select borehole. From here we can then click on search over in the left hand menu and then click on listing borehole. And here we get a listing of all the wells that have been drilled within the Netherlands area of the North Sea as well as the land wells within the region. So for this example I'm going to select this well here L07-07 and when we do that we get a pop-up with information about the well including the coordinates as well as the total depth and whether the well is vertical or deviated. We can also see here over on the left hand side we've got another menu where we can go through the documents of the well and these include reports as well as well log plots. And if we want to see the well logs associated with this well we can click on the logs item here on the menu and then we can select which one we want. From here we can select the composite well logs and the, this one is in a last format and if we download that we can then view the well log data. If we want to view other data we can view the dlist files or list files if they have been recorded as well as the individual last files from different runs or different logging passes. We can also view the lithostratigraphy data, and this contains a mixture of groups as well as formation and members, so you will need to edit this manually and to split them up into groups, formation or members. And this data you would have to copy and paste into Excel and then load it into Python. We also have a similar situation with the deviation data, where we have information from the well survey, where we've got the depth, deviation and azimuth data, which is enough to generate a TVD curve. And finally, some wells may have core data acquired within them, and they are also provided in this table like format which you need to again copy into Excel and load into your well in Python to perform analysis. And core data may include basic core data such as the porosity and permeability measurements 
and some wells do have SCAL or Special Core Analysis data which will be found under the Documents section of the well. And within these documents you may have to extract the data manually or type it out into a spreadsheet depending on the quality of the PDFs and the reports. In 2020, there was a machine learning competition for predicting lithology. It was hosted by Zeek and Force 2020. And this dataset contains over 100 wells from the Norwegian sector of the North Sea. And within that data, we just have a mixture of well log data and a lithology column that has been interpreted by geologists. And the goal of the competition was to predict lithology from the various input curves. Let's have a closer look at it. So here we are on the Zeek.ai website where we've got the Force 2020 machine learning competition for predicting lithology for a set of Norwegian wells. And when we scroll down, we can get an overview of the data, including the sponsors, as well as the competition details. So if we scroll down, we can see a description of the data set, including all the logging curves that are present within the data. And if you want, you can go to the NPD, or the Norwegian Petroleum Directorate fact pages, where you can find information out about each of the individual wells. When you are on the fact pages, you don't have well log data, but you do have well information, including the well header data and the location of that well. So we've got the general history, as well as the operations, results, and any information about drill stem tests. And we can see we've got the full lithostratigraphy, which is in fact in the data set. So this data set provides an excellent opportunity for anyone who wants to try to get into classification algorithms based on well log data. So we've got additional information in here as well about the lithologies. So you can, for example, run a dictionary to rename and renumber some of these, something more meaningful within your machine learning process. They also give hints on how to get a higher score when we're doing the prediction. So we, we can take into account stratigraphy, we can augment the data, and we can also take into account lithofascia's boundaries. So when we go to the data tab, we can then see we've got a starter notebook which will get you started on using this data, and we also have the training data set which contains the 98 wells that you can download. And if you want, you can see how well people did in the, le in the leaderboard section of the website. So unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to complete this. I ended up coming 46 in this competition here uh, with a score of minus 0 0.82. And there is also a GitHub page that was set up by the offers. And we can come here and we can get the information out about the well. So we've got the lithology competition data here and the final scoring of it. So as some of my existing subscribers may know, I've used this data set a number of times in the past to show how to predict lithologies through unsupervised and through supervised learning. So if you want to find out more about this, check out some of my previous videos as well as my Medium articles. And you can find a link to these down in the description below. Here we are on the Australian Government's National Offshore Petroleum Information Management System, which contains well information from wells that are drilled offshore Australia. So once you're here, you can then simply click on the Data Access button, and this will open a new page where you can search the wells that are contained within the database. We also have surveys that we can search, and also a core library. So if we just go to the Wells tab, we can leave all this blank, and then click on the Search button. And when we do that, we get a nice looking database back with all of the wells that are available. And we can see that we've got about 87 pages here with about 100 items per page, which gives us about 8,700 wells that we can search through. So if I go to this well here called Iron Bank 1 and right click on it and show summary, we can get information out about this well and we can see that we've got mud log data as well as well completion report with location survey information evaluation data, and we've got our well logs as well as other data here. So if I click on the well log and click download, we can then see that we've got well log formation evaluation, LWD and PWD data, as well as an inventory. So if I click on this top one, we can then download that file. Once the file has been downloaded, you get a zip file containing all of the well information. So here we have data nicely organized with well composite data, and we can see that we've got the DList file as well as the last file. So if we open up the PDF file, we can see that we've got a full composite log here. And we can scroll down and find full information about all the runs and all the different parameters, each of the tools and runs. Eventually, when we scroll further down, we can then see the composite plot where we've got all the well log data, including gamma ray, resistivity, neutron density data, so we've got all of this information here in this well log that we can easily scroll through. We can go back and view the rest of the data and we can see that we've got process sonic vision data in here as well. 
and we can see we've got that for each of the different whole sections. So when we go in here, we've got the PDFs as well as the last file of the process data. And if we open up one of these plots, and once the plot is open, we can then scroll down and see all of the acoustic waveform data. We can see that we've got the correlation map as well as the as well as the calculated DTCO curve. And we can see that we've also got the individual runs. If we go into them, we've got the individual last files, DList files, as well as the final PDFs. We also have the full survey data that we can then open up in Excel. This is a very good database, very easily organized, and there is so much information in here that it would keep you busy for a while. So definitely a website that you need to check out if you're looking for open source well logged data. If you're looking for an American set of data, then the Kansas Geological Society has provided a large amount of data for the entire state. And you can find a vast amount of data here for core images, well log data, formation tops, and many other data types. So let's have a closer look at the Kansas Geological Society data set. When you arrive on the oil and gas well database of the Kansas Geological Society, you're presented with this search form here. And it is here that we need to then start searching through the data. And this can be a time consuming task, as you'll see in a minute. So if I select Allen County and select the wells, we are then presented with a table containing all of the wells that have been drilled within that county. And we can find information out about when it was drilled, when it was plugged, and the status that tells us whether it was drilled and abandoned, or it is producing oil and various other types. However, it can be difficult to find the well with well log data. So one trick I've found is that if you start looking for the spud dates that are uh, in descending order, so we're going from, from the most recent wells, we may stand a better chance of finding wells that contain well log data. So if we select some of these newer wells, like this one here, Fitzpatrick 8, when we arrive on the page, we can see that the data is still confidential. We're not able to find the well log data for this well but we do have some basic documents such as the intent to drill and the well completion report. So we need to go back a little bit further in time. So, so what we can do is go back through the pages to maybe about page eight or 10, and we can find wells from about 2014. So after a little bit of searching, I found this well here uh, called Snyder, which was drilled in 2017 and plugged and abandoned. But if we scroll further down, we get information about the tops as well as these files here. So we can download the, the file and we can also view the log header. So if I go into this first file here, we then get back our familiar last files. We can see we've got the well header information up here. We've got the curve information that's contained within the file. And we've also got some parameter information that may be useful to us. So once we've got the file downloaded, we can open it up in our text editor or last editor. And we can see the same information that we had in the well header as well as the individual logging curves. So we know we've got a gamma ray, we've got the induction resistivity logs, as well as delta rho and rho b. We also have a PE curve, and we can take this data and load it into our Python application, and then do some analysis with it. So even though the data is freely available within the Kansas Geological Society, it can be very difficult to find the right information from it. And this is where a potential application could be developed to scrape the website and get the wells that contain last files, and we can then download those files into a database. And next up, we have another amazing data set, and this is the Teapot Dome data set from Wyoming in the US, and contains multiple wells with last files, including formation tops, which you can then bring into Python. So I'm not going to download and show you this data as it's uh, quite a large data set, but we can see that we've got if we go to this website here, Data Underground, we can then go and access the individual data and resources. So we can see here that we can explore the Teapot Dome data package, and we can then download that data set. So according to this website, we can see that there are over a thousand wells that have been drilled within an anticline structure. So this, this example here just uses a subset of that of 26 of the deepest wells. And these wells were missing the sonic or density logs. Therefore, they wanted to apply machine learning to see if they could predict that data. So quite a large data set, but certainly one that is worth downloading and playing with. And you will certainly have a large amount of data to practice your machine learning and data science skills with it.
And there we have it, we have six amazing websites for you to download vast amounts of data for your next machine learning project, data science project or petrophysical project. So be sure to check out the links down in the description below if you want to access these data sets. If you have enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content from this channel make sure you click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell and that will allow you to be notified when new videos are uploaded to this channel. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.